Uh, talk us through uh, what Bloomberg has learned and the why behind it and the why now. Yeah, well, uh, I, I, as I overheard you say, it's important to emphasize that this is still a proposal and it needs to go through the government and potentially parliament. So they haven't sold any of these stocks yet. This is not what they call an exclusion. But basically, their take is that Norway is so dependent on oil that it doesn't make much sense in also owning oil stocks. It sort of gives the country a double risk should oil prices turn south again. Right, so that brings me to the, has, have they called an oil top in essence, uh, Bloomberg's Will Kennedy joining us. And yes, this is a proposed uh, potential for Norway Sovereign Wealth Fund uh, to roll back some of their uh, equity stakes in big oil. It, is that a concerning sign for the oil market, Will? There are real issues. I think what it illustrates, Alex, is there are real issues for these very, very big oil companies over the next 10 years and 20 years, the time horizon that, as you point out, the Norway Fund's looking at. Everyone expects oil demand to peak at some point, perhaps as early as 2025, as late as 2040, and that fundamentally changes the outlook for these stocks. They were in the past growth stocks. They're not going to be that anymore. And I think that very long-term investors like the Norwegian Fund are worried about, well, what does that mean? The whole idea of stranded assets. Are there reserves under the ground ever going to get drilled? So I think it's a very vague investor who obviously has particular kinds of concerns about diversification, but it illustrates some of the issues coming to the fore for these companies. Jonas, you touched on something important. We, we can sit here as the base case that really the potential for doing this, the rationale, the potential rationale, is to make sure you don't add additional oil risk to, to the government, to the economy, and to Norway. For me, the process is going to be really interesting. As you've pointed out, there has been no decision made at this point, but it's a market that already begins to move against them. Walk me through the the potential process, the dominoes that have to fall to actually get to the decision where the Norwegian Wealth Fund sits there and says, we're going to start to move out? Uh, well, I mean, first, this, proposed, this is a letter now that goes to the finance ministry. Um, they will potentially need to involve parliament in this decision. So there definitely won't be a decision this year uh, and potentially maybe as late as May. Now, it's important to emphasize that the opposition in, in Norwegian parliament is, uh, is, um, uh, would, would be very much uh, pro this move, while the government, the conservative left government, has been more skeptical in pairing climate risk. So it's an interesting dynamic building up in terms of how the government will come out and, and, what, and, and what the opposition will say. But no doubt that the, the environment movement in Norway will, will cheer this on as a, as a major victory for them.